So Josh says it's hard to follow dinner. I think it's hard to follow Seema and Josh. I don't know about anyone else there. <laughs> and people travel from, uh, from Utah. What Josh didn't say, he traveled up from Mexico where he now lives in order to support him and Seema for, uh, for this award. So we're really grateful for all of you who traveled so much. I get the honor right now to introduce our next um, Albert Schweitzer honoree. Both Seema, actually all of our honorees, their stories really inspire me. Seema's story of, of, um, of coming here from Iran and, and achieving that American dream inspires me. But Ambassador Albiate's story is also quite inspiring. And in fact, the whole Iraqi Hobi story is very, very inspiring. Shortly, just to tell the Iraqi Hobi story for a second, in about 2004, Iraqi students started coming to our Hobi World Leadership Congress. Um, we all know what's happened in that country um, since the invasion in 2003 and how, how difficult life has been there. So we started, Hugh decided he wanted to try and give back in a certain way. And the gentleman who nominated Ambassador, um, uh, Ambassador Albiate for this award started supporting Iraqi students coming over for the World Leadership Congress. That grew over the years to where they started, they were so inspired. The, the volunteers who supported in Iraq, the, the ambassadors went through, were so inspired by what they were learning that they started doing Hobie programs in Iraq a couple years ago. In a country that's torn apart literally by war, poverty, famine, other just facing really terrible, terrible issues. But these students, and these volunteers believe so much that what it is that Hobie has taught them is what's gonna help them bring their country together and help them heal their country, that they continue to bring Hobie, not just in Iraq, but just a few weeks ago, they traveled to refugee camps in Lebanon to put on a Hobie program in Lebanon for, Ho for Iraqi refugees who were there in Lebanon. That is dedication to their country. That is dedication to Hobie. And Ambassador Albiate has a similar dedication to his country, who also was arrested, who was tortured, who was, um, whose life was threatened by, uh, during the Saddam Hussein regime, who fled his country and continued to work in support of freeing his country um, from, from abroad, and who after the country, uh, at the Saddam, regime, uh, Saddam Hussein's regime fell, became the first Iraqi ambassador to the UN from a free Iraq. And th in that pr uh, role, continued not just to inspire and work for the betterment of Iraq, but to inspire and work for the betterment of the world and for all of us. And just to show you a short example of that, let's take a look at this video right now. <laughs> 